Hi, my name is Julian and today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick video on how to transfer your Ethereum from your CoinSpotter wallet into your MetaMask wallet, which is this wallet here. So I'm just going to share with you quickly how you can do this and I'm not going to waste any more of your time. First up, if you want a guide on how to actually install MetaMask wallet, let me know in the description. I will make a video on that for you. So this is really simple, easy to do. It is confusing to some people because when you go on the MetaMask wallet, you can't seem to, um, there's no way to actually transfer it directly to your Ethereum. So if you have Ethereum here, you try to, you can't see any um, button to receive it like you would send it to an exchange where you would have the receive option. But that's the thing because on the Ethereum network, you, all you need to do is click this um, button here. This is your actual address to send any cryptocurrency on the Ethereum network into your MetaMask wallet. So first up, you need to actually have some Ethereum network, some Ethereum, I mean. So you want to buy some Ethereum. So let's say you buy 30. Then you click confirm. Now you just want to go to your wallet. It should be on top here. So open your Ethereum wallet and then just click on the side here, send button. Now, all you want to do is make sure you're on this network here ERC20 and then you want to send how many how much ever you want to send you could change this and send whatever amount now You just want to find your Ethereum address like I mentioned before if you're on MetaMask Make sure you're on the Ethereum network, which is the top one here. You already have this one installed This is like the preset one. So don't panic So make sure you're on the Ethereum network So the drop down tab here is where you'll find the Ethereum network then once you're on the Ethereum network Which is most likely going to be your default default network network you just want to click this button here. This is your actual address, like I mentioned. Then you just paste that into there, and then you're pretty much done. You just need to do the security settings here, which I will do right now. And then once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to go, and you can send it. All right, so now, as you can see, it's telling me confirm the send. So I just have to verify it in my email address. This is just a security thing. Um, and then you should have it in your wallet. I'll come back once it's confirmed and it's in my wallet just to show you guys how e um, how quickly um, just to show you that it's proof that it works all right so I've just sent it before with you so now as you can see I'll check my MetaWise wallet as you can see this has arrived in my wallet so do not panic if it is lower because it is in the USD currency you have to be aware when you do send Australian dollars into MetaMask it will automatically convert it to USD so don't panic um, so now I want to share with you how you can send it back. So it's really simple You just need to click on the actual Ethereum So when you drop down tab when you click on the drop down tab, you just want to click on the, the Ethereum itself now you can send it now you can transfer between your accounts, which is simple But you don't need to do that if you want to send it just to your off uh, Any exchange or anywhere pretty much anywhere that can take Ethereum. This is what you do You just go back to coin spot here Make sure you're on the Ethereum wallet. Once again, I'm on the Ethereum wallet. Make sure you're on the Ethereum wallet. Make sure you're on the default ERC20 network, which is the one you want. You want to click receive button on the left here. Now all you do is take this address here, Ethereum address, make sure you copied it. Double check that you copied it. Maybe even just do that. Go back to your MetaMask wallet. Hit the send button. So click that, hit the send button, and then copy and paste that. Uh, wallet there as you can see it confirms that that's a real address and You just hit the next button and then you just hit send and the gas fee with three dollars would be three dollars So that's your fee To send that amount so I'm not going to send it back But that's how you do it you would send it ju just uh, just like that And that's how really and simple how easy it is now if you was to send another cryptocurrency I just want to go over if you was to send another cryptocurrency as long as it's on the Ethereum network all you need to do is to get this address here. Any cryptocurrency that's on the Ethereum network, you just send it directly to this address. And that's really how simple it is. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the description below.